two big streamers challenged me to a one versus two matchup and these are the rules we are going to be playing on the map vault the top left castle cannot be captured by anybody including myself they are picking and playing gondor and rohan but i can pick any faction i want and all they need to do is to beat me one single time if they can't we're gonna keep playing until they eventually will be able to beat me but i will not let this happen because i accept the challenge game numero uno i pick random gondor and rohan are my opponents oh yeah you know you know me right when i pick random i will get to play isengard 99 percent of the time but luckily isengard is my best faction so i wish them the best of luck uruks okay so i'm gonna go for the economical opening actually because there is a chance i might lose my settlements outside and i don't want to lose the game within the first couple of minutes and with the furnace opening i should be just good to go remember this is no rubble of mine this oryx <laughs> these are urukai okay so we have to kill lots of peasants and lots of soldiers in this game and you know when you play a 1v2 matchup they are not beginners by the way and uh, there is a time limit we need to win at some certain time because if you can't win in the first 10 to 15 minutes it's gonna become more and more difficult later on For that reason i will try my best to win this game asap and you know what offense is the best defense i will try to keep them checked here war chance 50 percent more damage 50 percent more armor and the good thing about the evil faction is we can use those workers you know to expand oh alvin wood i see you gondor but unfortunately for you i can just leave the alvin wood I mean, I will, be even, I will be even able to destroy this farm. That's pretty nice, actually. And you see, offense is the best defense. Because in some situations, people don't know what to do. In reality, he should be ignoring my Uruks and go for a push. But he's afraid, you know? Okay, so expand, expand, expand. Look our eco, dude. Holy guacamole. We are gonna be Bill Gates in this game. Or Elon Musk, you know? Okay, beautiful beautiful and we can even just disengage now when we want no problemo run run you fool oh i see a maria dog brandy bog okay i mean oh my uruks didn't actually disengage but look at my money dudes that i will be so rich this game holy nice i like it okay uruk pit and war pit at the same time i want to get works actually for the map control so they are way more mobile and my uruks i will need them later on you know the combos the infantry from isengard is the strongest and we can also recruit, recruit lords with this eco what we have right now with like five to six lambert mills outside we can pretty much do everything that we want at pretty much the same time you know we can also creep with the crossbow man but the peasant spam rohan is not allowing me to expand okay so warp it eco is looking good amazing but again, we need to be fast, boys, okay? We are playing against two players, man. Not against two AI. These are actual humans, okay? And I like to think that humans are smarter than AI. At least in BFME games, to be honest. Because in other games, the AI is actually quite advanced. I'm scared about the future. Because in the future, AI might be able to beat humans over and over again. Okay, so crossbow man. And we need one more Urukai to get the Uruk to level 2. That will give us a chance to recruit the Pikeman. And Lords, the fighting Urukai, will be recruited next. My Vorks are hungry. Okay. So we have Warchant for the Vorks case scenario. And I believe they are kind of creeping at this point. But uh, the peasants, they are, they are kind of annoying me. 
So we can use Lords to creep. We don't we don't have to rush anything. Uh, the dream would be to get to Lords to get the Lords to level five, you know. To unlock the leadership. It's really important. Yeah, creep this, get outpost. Amazing. Amazing. Ooh. You are soldiers of Gondor, but we have the works of Isengard. You know, guys, you know, a new power is rising. Uh oh. Okay, we need to be careful. But we have Warchan in hole. You don't want to fight this. You don't want to fight this, Gondor Knights. You don't want to fight this. Yeah, you see? Quality beats quantity. And leadership is very important in this game. Very important. Importante. Okay, so we have outpost control. That's amazing. We can even go for armory here. And later on, we can use the outpost to siege the Gondor player. That's the plan. Again, the challenge is... They, they challenged me. They were like, okay, we need to beat you only one time. If we can't beat you, we gotta keep playing. Keep playing. Uh, days and weeks and months. As long as it will take to beat you one time. And you know me. I don't lose on purpose, you know. They will never beat me, okay? They will never beat me. Okay. I mean, Lourdes is gonna get level 3 after this one. That's amazing. Get the, uh, get the control here. And we have almost... Look, we have so much money. We have almost industry do from this spellbook. That's even better. And with the works, we can keep pressuring the opponent players so they don't grow rich. And because we pressure them, they need to play a bit more defensive. They need to deal with the works, you know? They can't ignore them. If they do ignore them, they will lose all the farm. So, offense is most of the time the best defense. Get the money? Please get it! Nice. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so, Lords, come on, creep this. We can even creep offensively. Look at that. Amazing. Get all the upgrades, Lords level 3. Great. Great, great. I mean, we need to be careful here. Because yeah, the, uh, the Rohan is still in Int Irma. Oh, can I get this? I want to get the last hit, guys. I want to get the last hit. In, in, the most important thing in this game is to keep your units alive you know at least one unit from the battalion you need to keep alive so you can respawn uh, they will respawn over time the units in this way you don't have to invest money over and over again into units because you can keep them and it's more rewarding to get the money nice we took all the money too and you know it's more rewarding because each level makes your units way stronger so each level like a level two unit is like 20 percent stronger than a level one unit in this game you know Outpost control, amazing. Good. Let's use the carnage. Loot. Oh, oh. Nah, we can win this. We can win this. Okay. Upgrades are also really important, just like leadership is. You know, upgrades give you actually like a crazy burst of armor and damage. And I think one upgraded Knight of Gondor can actually kill like two or three unupgraded Knights of Gondor. That's how efficient and impactful the upgrades are in this game. Okay, so I think we have enough war riders. We can now go for the siege. Again, we want to close this game ASAP. We want to siege the opponent player as soon as we potentially can. Nice, dude. We are creeping everything. We are creeping everything. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay, let's get the outpost too. So that's gonna be our third outpost. Uh, I see Rohirrim. We can even use the uh, Palantir to chase them. You know, the Palantir gives us additional movement speed, gives us gives us the chance to kind of stick to the opponent uh, units and outrun them. Because in normal cases, the Rohirrim, the Vorks from Isengard, the Knights of Gondor, they have the same movement speed. So there is no reason to chase them. But when you use Palantir on them, like I will do now. The, your units are going to be outrunning the enemy units, you know. It will, give you, it will give you the chase and catch potential. So we need to now make combos. Crossbow man, pike man combo. And then we can siege the Gondor at the bottom right side. Oh, Rohan bought the outpost. But we can fight this, no problem. We have upgrades in whole ability. Lords, level 4. Okay. And look at the minimap, boys. Okay. We are, we are doing phenomenal in this game. I, I would like to think... If we have more than 100% resources, 
than our opponent. I mean, that we have at least, I mean, we as Isengard have the same money like Gondor and Rohan combined, I think. But we will see after this game. Oh, oh, give me the money, dude. Thank you for the generous donation. Appreciate it. Really means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. I mean, you know, he's like, this guy's playing a 2v1 matchup. Let, let me give him some money. So here on the ground, you can keep, you know, have some. Can we win this? We are upgraded. Aramir doesn't have leadership yet. But we need to be careful. Okay, so let's disengage. We have a level 4 unit. We don't want to lose it. Now we can creep. We have so much money. We can go now for Saruman, the White Wizard. Yeah, dude, when you play Evil Faction, like Isengard in Mordor, and you have such a map control, it's like a snowballing... Your, your snowballing is crazy, actually, you know? Crazy. And you see, they are busy defending all the time, boys. They are literally defending exclusively. That means we have the time of our life. A new power. Is... Coming, it's Gondor in Rohan. Can they defend? Saruman is also here. Beautiful. So we can now go ahead. We have two combos. Let's get them all the upgrades. We, we are we are rich, you know. We can do whatever we want to. And keep pressuring at the same time. The one thing you need to master in this game is multitasking. So you need to do multiple things at the same time in order to get the best out of your skill. So micro is important, but I think in this game, macro is even more important. Especially the bigger the map is, the more macro is required. Because there are going to be plenty of settlements you need to fight for. And that's why you need to split your units up a little bit. Look, the Gondor making the mistake that he has all the units in one location. Which is probably good when you go for an all-out fight. But it's not good for the map control. In reality, you need to kind of uh, split them up a little bit. You know, have, them, have one there, one here, one there. So they can get more work done. That's what you need to do. But, uh, I, unfortunately, he won't have the time to do that anymore because I'm about to siege him in a bit, okay? Like, knock, knock. Who is there? Isengard. And guys, if you enjoy this kind of videos on my channel, you know what to do. You know, subscribe to the channel and also leave a like to those videos. So I know you like it and I can produce more videos like this for you in the future. All right. But my lord, there is no such force. <laughs> we need thousands to beat them. Tens of thousands. But we have tens of thousands. We can't even um, produce more units. We are command points capped. So that needs to be enough. Knock, knock. I mean, the ballista pathing is not what I like to see. I don't want to fight on the Alvin Wood. But the Ballista, they move the way they want to move. Uh, unfortunately, my Lurk is not level 5 yet. We need only one level, but I think it's it should be fine. Because we have Warchan and Salomon leadership, that should be enough. Because I don't think they have much more than uh, Rohirrim and Knights. And my Pikemen counter them all. Okay, so... Ooh. <laughs> you need to come. Where was Rohan when Gondor fell? Boom, boom. One more shot. And the wall will be breached. Demolish the buildings in time to deny power points. It's also very important. Destroy the well. Wells give actually lots of power points. Watch this. Watch this. Look the power points. Boom. You see the power point jump? When you destroy a well and they don't demolish it in time. That's why you need to demolish buildings super fast, you know? Explosive mine. It's time for the boom boom chakalaka. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Uh oh Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Bail, bail. They have a tower, statue, well, everything. We, we can't fight this. Disengage. A good commander knows when to retreat. And now? And now what? And now how you want to fight against that? What can men do against such a reckless heat? You need Elma, Gandalf, and a whole Rohirrim army to deal with this. But unfortunately for you, Gondor and Rohan, that's not the campaign. This is not the campaign. This is reality. Oh, explosive mine. I'm bringing it. I see the Legolas, by the way. I see him. I will kill him later. I will kill him later with my lords. For now, I want to make it boom, boom, chakalaka. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Do it. Boom. 
YouTube, son. Dude, that's a beautiful one because we killed three blacksmiths in, in the citadel and now we will control them. And that's the proof why Saruman is such a crazy hero, man. Look at him. Look at him, boys. A one man army. What else do you want from a wizard? I mean, he could, when he get mounted, when he could get mounted, imagine you can use fireball when you are mounted on a, on a horse. That would make him to the best hero in the game. Low key. But Gondor will be defeated. Now, Legolas, I'm coming for you. Triple. Look, show him who is the best hero in the game, lords. Carnage. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. Dude, lords. Now we are level almost six. Amazing. The elf. The elf is no more. The man is no more. Men. Men are weak. There will be no down for men. They are preparing for the last fight. But they are calling it, okay? GG well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let's take a look into the money we collected in this game. And I'm pretty certain that we collected the same amount of money like Gondor and Rohan combined. And we're gonna jump right into the next game. So again, we need to play this until they can win one single time. And they couldn't win this one. GG. Victorious. Maybe the next one is gonna be a bit harder. Who knows? Yeah, look the money, dude. Yeah, yeah, we have more than them together, actually. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys in the next game. Okay, game number two. Um, I'm gonna pick again random. And we are on the same map, the same spot. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Isengard again? Dude, that's my... It's my destiny, okay? It's my destiny. It's my destiny to play Isengard. Let's go with Double Furnace opening. Let's switch the start a little bit to not make it like in the, like in the previous game. But we need to pick War Chant. It's the best power point in the game. And you play Isengard. I mean, Palantir is actually quite busted now in the 2.22 version as well. Because it also grants you now pure resistance. Which is very, very good in some situations. Also, the movement speed boost has been improved. But it's not the best starting power. The War Chant is just too good. You know, it gives you damage, armor, and... It's, it costs you one power point only. And that's the main reason why Isengard only has one starting unit. While Gondor has two soldiers, Mordor two orcs, and Rohan two peasants. Talking about the peasants, we're gonna kill some in this game. Okay, so... Um, let's hunt some soldiers and peasants. What they need to do is they need to kind of work together, you know? They need to... Not, they, they shouldn't make the same thing. Like, one, when one goes for Rohirrim, the other one shouldn't go for the knights as well, you know? Because, think about this. My faction is designed to counter horses, okay? So all I need to do is to recruit pikemen to counter the knights and the Rohirrim at the same time. So in order, it's like a rock, paper, scissor, scissor system. You need to counter the opponent, your opponent's move. And when they do the same thing, when they go, when they both go for horses, all I need to do is to recruit one type of a unit to counter all of that. So with that being said, they need to make sure to mix it up a little bit. You know, they need to one of them has to make elves, or the other one has to make rangers, Boromir, Faramir, Aragorn, Leolas. So more mix, more more mixed army is harder to be countered. Let's be annoying. When you attack the uh, farm with the Lambert Mill worker, it will give them the signal all the time. Our farm is under attack. It's actually quite annoying. It might kind of bring them to the point in which they demolish the building just because they are triggered. It's all about mind games, boys. It's all about mind games. We don't want, we don't want to fight on the Elven Wood. Let's disengage and let's attack the buildings exclusively. Our money is looking even better than in the previous game. So we can do the same thing like in the previous game, never change the running system. We're gonna build up the Uruk pit and the War pit at the same time, you know, to have like all this what we need. But in order to make this a bit more entertaining, I wanna siege them simultaneously, okay? Because last game we sieged only Gondor. In this game, I wanna capture the outpost top left, top side, and siege Rohan and Gondor at the same time. That's my plan for this game. Hopefully it's gonna work out. Okay, and we can also use the workers for scouting. They are cheap, they cost 25 each, and we can use them just to see what they are doing, you know. Our money is looking crazy. I want to actually go for Lourdes fast. Lourdes. And then we are Gucci. Okay, 
So, let's do the same thing at, at the bottom side. With the crossbow man, creep this. Oh, but I can defend this, no problem. I mean, he might be able to destroy one of the mills, but my works will be just in time. The Rohirrim arrived, and we can now go for Lourdes. Dude, Lourdes, and there is a reason why Isengard is only two heroes, okay? That, you know, Rohan has plenty of heroes. Like, they are also very powerful. Aragorn is very powerful. Theoden and Eomar are very great, sportive heroes. Legolas, pretty strong when he has some levels on him. Gimli, quite tanky. But Lourdes is just like a hero with all these things you need of, in a hero combined in one single hero. Like, he has great damage. He's fast. He's the fastest hero on foot. And nobody's faster than him. He is as fast as, for example, Legolas. So nobody can catch him when he's on foot. Um, and you can even make him faster with the Palantir to catch up to any other hero like Aragorn and, for example, Legolas. And then he has leadership. He has pillage. And he can fight from with bow and sword. Like, all of that in one hero. And he's cost efficient too, because he costs only 1400. So what else do you want? He's the best hero, cost efficient wise. Okay. So we can defend this also against his peasants, no problem. Again, the plan is to make like to recruit like three works and then we can again start sieging. But in, in this game, I want to siege them both at the same time, okay? Ooh, okay. Shoot. Can I defend this in time? Maybe not. Be careful. Need to tower up. Make some towers. Should be fine though. Okay. Beautiful. Nice. We were able to defend this too. That's also great. Yeah, but this game is not looking that good like the game before. So they are learning. They are getting better, of course. Now. Practice makes perfect. Hopefully not too much. Because then I will not be able to beat them anymore soon. But I don't want this to end, so I will try my best to keep winning. Palantir. Let's destroy this farm. We can demolish this and build the uh, armory. Okay, Palantir and run him down. Oh, the works, the way they are moving is annoying. I want to finish this. I want to finish them. I don't want them to live. Shoot, 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 shoot. Can I? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, nice. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh. Okay, nice. So we get the money. Again, we can make even more pikemen and spam them all over the map because they are, again, doing the same mistake. They are going both for horses. You know, the one going for the Rohirrim, the other one going for the knights. So we can counter all of that with only the Uruk pikemen. Okay, beautiful. Lords is level 3. That's even better. Almost level 4. And we can creep offensively, send in the... Oh, there's Faramir. So we don't want to feed Faramir. You don't want to feed heroes because they are scaling quite hard, you know? Especially Faramir, for example, because each level makes him deal more damage, which also affects his warning arrow damage. But most importantly, his level 5 is going to make him get leadership for the nearby units, making the units nearby of our Faramir tankier. 50% more armor permanently. Which is pretty strong. And for that reason, we don't want to feed them experience. Okay, nice, Ooh. amazing. Look at the minimap, boys. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> we have like 85 person off the map, dude. What? Let's use the carnage. Let's destroy the layer first, and then kill the wargs right, right after. Beautiful, man. Look at this. We have, we're gonna have three outposts under our control very soon. I mean, I don't know what to say. It's amazing. Look, he's using his head as a weapon. That's how strong the Uruk hero is. Lourdes. The, the best creation of the White Wizard Saruman. The power points are rising to the sky. Would you look at this? Okay. Now we can make combos. And again, the problem is we have like only 400 command points available, right? And we need to kind of be wisely and smart about how to use the command points. Money is not a problem, but I think we're going to run into, uh, into command point trouble later on. Like in the previous game. 
Oh, you wanna fight this? You wanna fight this? Let's fight then. Let's fight then. Let's fight then. You wanna fight this? Let's bring the pikemen. You see, they are kind of playing it like a one v one matchup. They don't really work. Oh, thank you very much for the <laughs> for the Gondor archers. Let's trample them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Amazing. Level five lords. Even better. Let's go for the siege. Don't waste time. Siege. 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 That's why you should never build archer range at the outpost, you know? Unless you are really ahead. Put them inside. Amazing. Get the money. Because we are greedy. Towering up. To feel more safe. Because we don't need money. All we need is some security for the outpost. So we, we know that it can't be destroyed anytime soon. And uh, destroying the archer range means he can't buy a fire rose. Which is also like a big W there for us. Okay? Good. Map control. I couldn't ask for better situation. It looks amazing. And up upgrades purchased. Let's not lose any units. And then we should be just good to go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did he see my loot? Hopefully not. Oh! Theodine! Rohirrim! Oh, you wanna fight this? You wanna fight this? Maybe he wanna fight this. I wanna kill this hero so badly. Oh my god. Hold on. Do I have any pikemen here? Pikemen! Carnage. Fight. Fight until the last second. If you can kill Farami... Nah. Nah, man. Oh, that's not good. Ah. My bad. I was too greedy. Didn't have any pikemen nearby. Okay. I mean... <laughs> Alright. It was all part of, the pl part of a plan, boys. Okay? I wanted to make it more challenging. Okay, let's make some... Recruit some ballista. So we can again make knock knock at the, at the gate, at the door, at the wall. We have almost six power points, but we need to either choose Elv uh, Tinderland or Industry. I mean, we don't need money at least for now, but I don't know. Get them fire arrows and put them here. Creep this here if we can and buy the outpost and also siege from the top side. Towering up, three towers to rule them all. They have also a pikeman there, should be just, you know, good to go. And we know that the opponent team has only one single outpost, okay? That's from Gondor. That's the only outpost they got. Uh, Rohan has no outpost. And Rohan is a faction that needs map control to be wealthy, to be rich. Because we have only seven spots in the castle. So when we can destroy the Rohan farms over and over again, Rohan player will be extremely poor. Will be weak. Keep this. Great. Okay, nice. Okay, let's get the money too, and yeah, I think we need some sort of pikemen also topside, because I don't think we can just siege with the borgs, that's not gonna be possible, but again, we have no command points available, dude, that's a big problem, so let's recruit some rams, okay, and here we can also recruit some rams, again, he has outpost here with well, statue, and the tower, but maybe we can fight for this with the pikemen, two pikemen, War chance should be enough. Let's try. Oh, he's feeding now pow uh, me power points. <laughs> That's why you need some sort of defenses. That's why you need to combine them with soldiers or you need to have tower guards to protect them, you know? Okay. Trample time. And the last outpost of Gondor. Oh, we can cover this. No problem. No problem at all. Thank you very much. Now it's my tainted land. I want to kill this Farami so badly. Farami, show your quality. Farami, show your quality. Farami, Farami. <laughs> Farami is no more. Farami, you fool. I mean, that's why you shouldn't... Children, children, you should not run into pikemen when you're on a horse. Because it hurts. It hurts. Amazing. Okay. So we can just run into the pikemen and we should be just good to go. I was hoping that Rohan is going to come to defend his ally. But again, they are, the teamwork is not very good on their side. When they want to win this, they need to have definitely more teamwork potential. Uh, they need to work as a team. That's what I'm trying to say, you know. They need to have some ideas what they can do to win this game together. In a 2v1 matchup, not a 1v1 and another 1v1. Because when you combine your strength with heroes and leadership, then you have much greater chances to win, you know. What is he doing? Rohan! Rohan! Theodine King is mad. He's brain controlled from warm tongue. 
and he's running it down in that's Elma actually can Theoden also die let's see Theoden <laughs> oh no Theoden king stands alone or he dies not alone because his Elma I mean his nephew Elma died with him okay let's give them levels and siege simultaneously okay that was the plan all along uh, but the plan was not to lose the ward riders to the outpost okay map control we have pretty much i would say 90 percent of the map which is amazing uh, he's killing my pikeman i hope he's not paying attention to the siege oh he does actually i mean rohan does it's a it's a it's a girl who's playing by the way she's playing really good actually Oh, oh, I didn't pay attention. My Saruman was not nearby. Not leadership. Fireball, dude, 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 dude. Okay. But I took so much damage out of this. My bad. My bad. My bad. I'm sieging. Look at our money, dude. They are so rich. Holy. I want to get some pikemen uh, to the top side. So I can, you know, kind of protect my siege weapons when I siege them. Oh. Okay, I... This is the land from Rohan, so they have like, again, you see, the longer the game goes on, the better they are, they have, the more chances they have, because they have two times Elven Wood, they have two times the Spellbook, they have incredible amount of reinforcement summons, you know, so we need to win this game ASAP. So playing with the food is not good, just gotta finish the dinner, you know. I'm gonna go in now. I wanna combine them all. But they are so badly damaged. Oh, I don't know about that, man. Oh, I mean, you have three towers there, so it should be fine. And start sieging again. We're gonna spam ballista, uh, rams, battering rams. Oh, man. How is he shooting? We need to be fast now at this point. Saruman, fireball. Nice. Okay. I mean, we broke one part of the wall, so we should be kind of good, hopefully. But we took so much damage from the tramples. I'm kind of, kind of a little bit afraid to go in. I would like to break at least one part of the, one more part of the wall. And what I want to do is I want to go in simultaneously too. I want to siege this Rohan castle, the Gonda castle, and I want to go in with two armies. But again, we are running into problems with the command points. You know, that's the problem that we have. We can't really maintain two armies, command point wise. Money is not a problem with over ten thousand. He has rangers too? Oh. I need to use Warchant here. Okay, let's fight now. Now we can fight. Blast him. Oh, beautiful blast from the young wizard, Saruman. But, oh, I, I can cover this. I need to cover this immediately. I want to steal the archers. Fight for me, and I will reward you. Okay? Disengage, Saruman. Dude, I, how did I lose this fight so badly? My pikemen were not in position, I guess. Run, you fools. But in the meantime, we are sieging Rohan at least. That's good, you know? <laughs> One part of the wall has been broken. Let's send more. And let's disengage. And the good thing is, we didn't lose a whole battalion. It means they will be respawning over time. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we need to, I don't know, we need warp pit. Yeah, warp pit. So we can send works to the Rohan castle. Just like in Edora's mission, you know, when you play evil. That's the first mission when you play evil campaign in which you can recruit the warp riders. In the patch 2.22, you can even, you have also now Sharku in this mission. Because evil faction or evil campaign was kind of boring uh, because you had like almost no heroes. With Mordor, you had like no heroes at all. Now you have Gothmog as a hero, Maho Sauron as a hero, and you play Mordor in the campaign. So it's more fun, you know? Also more challenging, way more difficult. Dude, we have big command point trouble. Big command point problems. Oh yeah, but we broke the second part, that's good. My Lourdes and Saruman are healthy, so we should be kind of good. Let's make two more units and then we can go ham. Just go ham, inside the jeans. Okay, so he wanted to come if throw hit him, but nah, 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 I have pikemen ready for defense. Oh my goodness, I didn't pay attention. Faramir, does he have leadership too? Because the units are glowing, I am assuming he has leadership, but I will kill you, Faramir. Faramir, 
You shall not pass. Faramir get crippled. Faramir, no. <laughs> and also, he lost all the knights. You can't run into two heroes like this. Full upgraded combos, you know, with Saruman leadership and Luz leadership. It's just too strong. Okay. So we have now two armies, two pikemen, two works at the top side. We have lots of combos and loot and ceremony at the bottom side. And we have also freezing rain to make the enemy units weaker. So it's like a win-win situation. Now we can just go ham, I think, at this point. Um, and again, the plan is to move simultaneously. We want to go into the Rohan castle and Gondor castle at the same time. Okay, so let's move a little bit from this side. And hopefully this army is going to be enough. I don't know if, I mean, this army bottom is going to be definitely enough. But I don't know about the top army with the two pikemen and two works. I don't think it's going to be enough to destroy the whole castle, but I will try. Three works, two pikemen. That's all we got. That's all we need. Okay. Macro, baby. Macro and multitasking. Okay. Very rewarding. Take this. Beautiful. Do fi do I mean, fireball from this dude. Oh, oh I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blast him. I'm gonna blast him so badly. Let's go him now. Let's go him now. Blast, 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 blast. Big this. Okay, level 8. Amazing. We have now the Will of Saruman. Boom. Okay, amazing. Great, great, great. Okay, now we are going to the Rohan castle at the same time, okay? So we need to... We are fighting at two fronts. And Theorin King shall rise from once more. <laughs> Again, we are... They, I mean, there are some Rohir marches, but not many of them. Most of them are normal Rohirrim and my pikemen are countering this so big time. Saruman join the party and go ham. Okay? If also freezing rain for the worst case scenario. Oh boy, my pikemen are slaughtering everything. Let it rain, baby. Let it rain. Okay? Dude, you see this, boys? That's why you are subscribed to the channel. So you can see a person who is sieging and attacking two castles from two different players at the same time. Okay? Are you not entertained? Oh boy, we are getting power points also. Oh yeah, I mean, we're gonna be able to destroy both the castles at the same time. Amazing! There is zero person chance they can survive this. My works are hungry. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh, that's actually so satisfying, man. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I really do like it. Destroy everything. Leave none alive. Destroy all Rohan forces. I mean, the God, he's trying to fight for the map control. I see you, Knight of Gondor, at the bottom left side of my screen. I see you. Don't feel like that you are unnoticed. I know what you are trying to do. Look, we have rams inside the castle too. <laughs> this is so funny. All right. Oh, I mean, I have every furnace is level 3, brother, you know? Every furnace is level 3. They are incredibly tanky. They're going to shoot at you. You don't even have shields of the night shields. You're not tanky. And the castle is destroyed. I mean, Rohan, Gondor has one more outpost. We are going to go immediately to the outpost, okay? And he's going to be de defeated. Rohan is going to be defeated a bit early, I think. And you see, this is the last unit from the Gondor player. Also, he's going to be gone. Oh... But it's gone. Rohan is gone, okay? I mean, I did what I wanted to do. I was able to siege both the players at the same time. Amara has been defeated first. And Maurice has only the one outpost remaining. But there is nothing he can do against the army of Isengard. GG well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like. Because that's not going to be the only time we are going to fi fight against each other. We're going to be playing more and more games in the following days and weeks. So I will try to upload them all to my YouTube channel as well. If you don't want to miss it, you know what to do. I want to kill my own army to make this video more entertaining. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> we killed our own dudes. GG well played. I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.